First of all, let me say good evening to everyone. And let me take this opportunity first to thank Belle for allowing me to be a part of this event. And let me thank her for her hard work and dedication to the DNC. And I'd also like to thank, I'd also like to thank Congressman Honda, who is our vice chair and has been extremely important in moving this party forward for the benefit of everyone, but also making certain that we pay attention to the issues of the Asian community. And I'd also like to say uh, to out your vice chair, Mona Mohib, who's a long-term friend of mine who worked with me at the White House, congratulations on recently being married. Yes, Mona! And for continuing her work with this organization, because uh, it's extremely important. And I'd also like to thank Congressman Honda for sending Ed Yoon our way. I think Ed's here somewhere. Ed, could you stand up? <laughs> Congressman Honda forwarded Ed's information to me, and Ed's going to be coming on in June to work as one of the deputy regional directors here in the DNC political shop. And he will be involved in various things that we're doing, but having someone in the political shop who understands the issues of the Asian community as part of the Asian community, I think, is extremely important to making certain that we pay attention to the issues that are important to you. So Ed, we welcome you, and we look forward to you starting on June 1st, I think it is, right? Yep. All right. This is a great time to be a Democrat. We control the White House. We control the House. We control the Senate. And we are very powerful in numerous states across the country. And there's certain states like Texas that we will become more involved in, and hopefully, and I do mean hopefully, we're two or three seats away from taking over that house. And we can only do that as long as we continue to expand our party. And we cannot expand our party if we don't have people like you involved in the political process. As Bell said, and as several people said before I came up, that Barack Obama was able to get people to turn out in every ethnic group, every age group, across the board in record numbers. And we want to continue that. And that's not going to be an easy thing to do, because what we found out is Barack Obama became a movement. And a movement is a great thing, but we have to get beyond the movement. We have to make certain that Democrats will be the party in power for years to come. And it's extremely important that we do that, because it's in the interest of this country to do that. When you look at the Democratic Party, we are a party that is expanding. We are a party that is very diverse, which is a big deal because the Republican Party is not expanding. It's contracting. When you look at people like uh, uh, Senator Snow, when you look at people like Arlen Specter, who cannot have their voice heard within their party, it shows you that the party is not willing to grow and change with the times. And the thing about the Democratic Party, we are. And I can guarantee you under the leadership of Governor Kane, under the leadership of Barack Obama, and as long as I'm political director, we will continue to evolve and do those things that we think are extremely important to making this party relevant to everyone. When you look at the Democratic Party, we're a party of ideas. The reason why the Republican Party is not expanding again is because they keep coming out with the same ideas over and over. Small government and less taxes. They've been talking about that same thing, those same two things for the last 25, 30 years. When you look at the Democratic Party, for the first time, we have a president who's willing to take on very difficult issues. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, energy policy, which will make this country more secure. He's willing to take on the issue of education to make certain that everyone in this country should be entitled to a quality education no matter what your background is, no matter where you live. And as long as the Democratic Party continues to embrace ideas that are important to an American public, we will expand. We will continue to improve our position across all the states in this country. But if you look at history, midterm elections have not been kind to the party, party in power. And it will not continue to be kind if we don't continue to do several things. We need to go out in mass numbers and continue to register people to vote. We need to become more involved in our state parties. Because the Democratic Party as, as a whole is only as strong as the state parties. And so everyone in this room needs to become more involved in your state party. And not just become an at-large member of the DNC, but actually run for the positions in those state parties. That's how you really are heard, and that's how you will really make a real difference. Because at that point, you don't have to worry about a large membership. You will control the actual levers in your state that will make a difference. And as we move forward, and tomorrow we're going to Richmond, Virginia. Governor Kane is invited, and we know we're going to do a meeting with the vice chairs. He's invited all the state chairs to come down and talk. 
And one of the things that I'm continuing to push with them is that we continue to reach out to all the groups in the DNC, all the caucuses, all the councils, because that's the only way that we're going to continue to grow and evolve. And so I, again, look forward to working with this, this group. I'm glad to have the opportunity to speak tonight. And I will continue to do what Bell asked me to do, <laughs> what Congressman Honda will ask me to do, and what Mona will ask me to do. Because I represent them, and I represent you, and I work for you. And so I hope that we, you will work with me and you continue to call with me so we can all make a difference in improving this country for the benefit of all people. Thank you for having me here tonight. And again, I look forward to working with you.